coming off a Saturday victory over Montana State here in the pit. Their lineup sets up like this. Starting on the point tonight, a 6'1 junior from Columbus, Ohio through North Carolina to Albuquerque, Jeremiah Francis. Alongside him at the shooting guard position from Minnesota, the transfer from Minnesota, he hails from Miami, Florida, 6'2 sophomore guard, Jamal Mashburn, Jr. In the three guard alignment, the TCU transfer from Bonn, Ontario, Canada, at 6'5", the redshirt sophomore, Taryn Todd. Up front, at the four position, a 6'6 sophomore, swingman, really, from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and Cheyenne Mountain High School, that's Javante Johnson. And on the post, the transfer from Kansas, hails from Haiti, 6'10 sophomore, Jethro Muscadin. For the Lobos, backcourt, Francis, Mashburn, and Todd. Front court, Johnson, and Muscadin for UNM. All right, let's pause briefly, 10 seconds for station identification on the UNM Sports Radio Network. We're just about set for tip-off. The opening half of basketball tonight brought to you by Bud Light and Bud Light Seltzer, the perfect matchup. I'm Robert Portoy alongside a Lobo legend himself, Hunter Green. It's great to be back with you in the pit, Hunter. And, um, you and Jeff took care of business on Saturday. The Lobos got over the hump against Montana State, protecting the pit. They remain unbeaten in this unbelievable venue, 3-0 on the year. And the Lobos take on Western. We're ready for some hoops. Take no prisoners. See if the Lobos can get off to a quick start against Western. Out of the Lone Star Conference, the D2 Mustangs are 4-0. They've played two D1 exhibitions, both blowout losses at Grand Canyon and at UTEP. Muscadin wins the tip easily in the backcourt. And here comes Francis across the timeline, controlling the ball, handed off to Mashburn. Mashburn gets a screen from Muskinen, skip pass in the left corner to JF. Francis drops it down on the left block to Muskinen. He'll turn, and he tried a cross key feed. It was deflected by the Mustangs and stolen. Western across the timeline. The ball's in the hands of Tony Ablos, the kid from Cruces. His bounce pass cross key is out of bounds, and a Western turnover as he taps his chest. My bad, says Avalos. Remember, they turned it over 26 times in that loss against UTEP during their exhibition schedule. This is, in fact, an exhibition for Western. It is a regular season contest for UNM. Mashburn holds it out high, tries to fight through a screen there as there were two Western New Mexico players that came to him off the musket and screen and he lost handle and Western turns over UNM once again. They have it, nothing, nothing. One minute into the contest. Out high is Peterson. Dribble handoff now to Avalos. He finds the screener, Peterson. They skip it left wing. Here's a cash three and the lefty knocks it down. Western's on the board, three nothing, the Mustangs. 18.45 to go, first half. Johnson between the circles. Left wing high out of Mashburn for the Lobos. On the take, Mash will lose it as he gets to the baseline, but goes to grab the loose basketball. Out front it comes now, top of the arc to Todd. Todd down the left rail, spinning into the key, kicks it out to Johnson. Johnson has his jump shot blocked from behind, and Western is out on the break. The man who blocked it is Manzano, and he'll lay it in. So Western New Mexico now on top 5-0 at the 18-20 mark of the first half. Right now, Western's being the aggressor defensively. Francis into the front court, gives it off to Todd. 18-10 and winding first half, 20 on the timer. Francis off the screen, gets it from Muskinen, feeds the cutting Muskinen. Muskinen, his layup is good. So Jethro rolling off the screen, and Francis finds it. Yeah, Jethro that time gathered himself, but pushed himself towards the, you know, underneath the basket, and then went with the right hand, created that space. Five to two, Western in front, 17-10. 45 and clicking first half. Crossover dribble here by Doss into the key. Doss's floater is no good. Rebound tapped in one by Johnson for UNM. Javante has been a voracious rebounder for the Lobos. So far averaging five and a half per game second on the team. And now we've got a whistle on Western. And there's the first foul of the game of the goal on Avalos. Yeah, Avalos is 5-9 challenging Mashburn. 5-9. Avalos easily 
the smallest on court right now for either team. He's guarding Francis right now as Jeremiah takes the inbound. Jeremiah down the right rail, now kicks it out top to Mashburn. Mashburn off the Muscadin screen. Will pull up at the left elbow. Gives it out high to Francis with 15 to shoot. Jeremiah whips it angle right to Todd. Todd driving right baseline. Step back, fall away. 18-footer for Taryn Todd is good. Lobos have scored four straight. It's five to four, Western New Mexico. Taryn Todd's off the dribble jump shot looks so sweet. That left hand strokes it. Here's Cash out high. Francis on him. Now Francis reaches as Cash goes to the bounce with the left hand, and that'll be a foul on Jeremiah, his first, team's first. First substitution, Western makes a, chain, a change. It'll be Ian Hohenstein. He's from Veracruz, Mexico, 6'7", junior. When he's been on court, he's been efficient. Five of seven floor shooting for him for the year so far. That's 72%. Western has it. Here's the little man, Avalos. Avalos has Mashbill on him. Out top now to Hohenstein. Hohenstein with a dribble hand off to Johnson. Johnson checked by Todd. They have 10 to shoot now. Give it up to Doss. Doss will fire a deep one, no good. Long rebound to Mashburn. Mashburn into the front court. Mashburn working to the baseline on Avalos. And what do we have? A tie up or a no. reach in? So reach in foul. Avalos, reach in on picked Avalos up picks up two quick ones. So a quick change. Dylan Arnett, a transfer from Texas Christian University. The TCU transfer actually played with Taryn Todd at TCU a season ago. And Dylan Arnett from DeSoto, Texas at 6'3", a sophomore, will check in between foul shots here and take over for Avalos. So on the rise, Mashburn is fouled on the reach and Mash at the line for two shots. Mashburn coming up a career best 21 on Saturday against Montana State. He missed them both, the rarity. The Lobos have shot the free throws so beautifully so far, 78% as a team for the year. Mashburn at 69.2% coming in. He'll shoot those better. 16 and a half minutes to go into the first half. Western New Mexico with the ball up 5-4. Dribble penetration here by Doss. He kicks it out now to Arnett, and Arnett knocks the Lobo down. Mashburn takes the charge, and a player control foul on Western. Another turnover on the Mustangs. Yeah, Arnett just gets into the game and creates a personal foul there and a charge, player control foul. Francis on ball for UNM. Lobos have yet to substitute. Three and a half minutes into the contest. Mashburn way out top off a uh, staggered screen there from Todd and Muskinen. Fires a beautiful 19-foot jump shot just inside the arc. The Lobos have scored six straight. They're up six to five. I love his stroke. Mashburn has worked so hard on his jump shot. Nice reach in there by Johnson. He stole it away. Just picked Hohenstein clean. Todd into the front court now. The left hand bounce. Todd crossing over to the baseline. Backs it out to the arc. Now he'll drive the baseline. Got it in the air. Knocks a Western player down. Oh. It'll be a blocking foul or charging that's foul. It, They're going to be player control yeah. on Todd. So Taryn picks up the personal. Lobo turnover. Lobo six. Western New Mexico five. First media timeout. It's Lobo basketball. The UNM Sports Radio Network. We've got you covered at Larry H. Miller Dealerships. If you need a new car, we've got you covered. If you need a used car, we've got those too. At every one of our more than 60 dealerships, used cars are in demand. We're paying really big money on the spot and often even more in person. Looking at your car in person can mean even more dollars for you. Whether you want to buy or sell, we've got you covered at Larry H. Miller Dealerships. Online at LHMauto.com. Driven by you. The Lobos are back. Season tickets are on sale now for New Mexico Lobo men's and women's basketball at the pit. Coach Richard Bettino leads the men's team for the first time, while the women's team aims to defend its Mount West Conference crown. Tickets start as low as $199 for the men and $110 for the women. Tickets can be purchased at golobos.com slash tickets. We are New Mexico, and this is Lobo basketball at the pit. We'll see you there. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Hey, fans, download the new Lobo Sports app, exclusive content, interviews with the head coaches, live game broadcasts, the latest stats and scores, prizes, and much more. It's the Lobo Sports app. It's free. Find it in the Apple Store and the Google Store. Download it now and go Lobos. Western New Mexico with the ball is the Lobos have scored the last six in a row after Western got the first five points of the game at 6-5 UNM. Just inside 16 minutes remaining here in the first half. Layup is rejected <laughs> by Jethro Muscadin, and here go the Lobos the other direction. Corner three on the way for Javante Johnson off the Francis speed. Remember, a three-point basket in Western Sky contributes to its buckets for bucks promotion. Deep left wing three is off the left iron for Doss. Loose basketball on the floor. Muskin and fighting hard for it. And we'll have a tie up. The possession arrow favors the Mustang, so Western will keep possession. It's nine to five. New Mexico, they've scored nine in a row. You like that effort by the Lobos getting to the floor. Jethro Muskin. Darren Todd was down there with him, too. Yeah. They both were fighting for it. 15 15 on the game clock here, first half. Malik Johnson has it out high, 15 to shoot now for Western. He'll lob it down on the block. This is Hohenstein. He'll try and turn and try a left-hand runner over top of Muskinen. It curls off the rim. Rebound to Jethro. And he gives it up to Mashburn. Mashburn through the shield logo at center court. Mashburn off the ball screen, feeds the corner to Johnson. Johnson on the take into the key, rises in traffic. His shot is blocked. Western looking to push tempo after the block to the rim. And to contact is Dylan Arnett, and he'll get free throws coming up. Barima Sek will check in for the Lobos here on the next opportunity. So will K.J. Jenkins for UNM. So a whistle on Terran Todd, his second, Lobos third. So Todd will be checking out. First free throw upcoming for Western, and it's on the way. Off the right rim, no good. So Todd checks out, and Francis checks out. No, Francis stays in. Todd and Johnson check out. So you have Muskinen, Sec, Francis, Jenkins, and Mashburn for the Lobos. Second free throw on the way for Western. This one is short. 0 for 2 trip for Arnett. Rebound to Sec. Here comes Francis through the center circle. 14.40 to go first half. Lobos up 9 to 5. Mashburn out high. Now catching after the curl at the top is Jenkins. Back to the left wing to Mashburn. 14 to shoot. Mashburn crossing over. Mashburn rising. Deep left elbow. Jay is good. Another 18-footer from Mashburn from the angle left this time. And it's 11 to 5 Lobos. Lobos have scored 11 strain after falling behind 5-0 to start the game. Westburn, uh, Western hasn't scored in over four minutes. Arnett, double. They get it left wing now to Banks. Robert Banks has checked it off the bench for the Mustangs. Out top that Arnett, eight to shoot. He gets it to Turner. Turner leans in, runner, no good. Well defended by Sack. Rebound to Muskin with one hand. Francis. Across the center stripe. Right corner to Sack. Sack drops it on the right block to Muskinen. Muskinen lost it as he spun with a left-hand dribble. Was it last touched by the Mustangs? Yeah, it looked like it was deflected. Yep, had to stay with the Lobos. 16 to shoot. More than 9,000 on Saturday for Montana State. And those who hadn't been in the pit for a game before on our staff, Hunter said, it got really loud. Yeah. <laughs> they hadn't heard something like no, that. No, they had. Here's Jenkins crossing over. Jenkins to Muskin in the free throw circle. Jethro books a little 17 footer off the Jenkins speed. He has a nice touch. Oh, yeah. 15 footer to stroke it. Nice soft touch. A little high arc on it. Lobos have scored 13 in a row. They're up 13 5 on Western. Turner to the baseline. Cut off by Francis. Feeds the big fella, Hohenstein. He can't convert the jump hook. Rebounded by UNM and a whistle on Western. Muskin in commanding the glass right now. Western is going to have an issue with the Lobo size. Oh, no question. And Muskadin is long and has athleticism. Good sky. Banks picks up the personal for Western, the team sport. 13 minute mark, first half. Dribble hand off to Jenkins in the front court for the Lobo. Jalen Tovar wants in next chance for UNM. Jenkins comes off the ball screen. 
He feeds Muskinen. Muskinen with a nice double pump and then a two-hand flush. Nice patience inside there by Jethro, and he continues to show excellent hands on the catch coming off the screen roll. Timeout taken by Western New Mexico. Lobos have scored 15 unanswered to lead 15 to 5 at the 12.50 mark. Mountain Dew's a proud partner of Lobo Basketball. Cheers to UNM and Lobo fans everywhere. We are New Mexico. So, Hunter, Lobos have scored 15 in a row and kind of doing it on both ends, right? Yeah, no, no question. Uh, they're not making it easy for Western on, on the offensive end. Western struggling from the field. They're just settling for jump shots. They got a couple of looks inside the paint, but Jethro just changes a lot of shots right inside. Who's gonna... So New Mexico on top, 15 to five. It's been five and a half minutes since Western New Mexico took a five nothing lead. They scored the first two baskets of the game. A three and a two. And since then, the Lobos have run on uh, run off 15 in a row over a five minute and 14 second span. Muskinen is the Lobos leading scorer with six as he takes a rest now on Coach Patino's bench. Western ball in the fourth corner. Here comes Turner. Hard left hand drive. Tries to score right hand. He comes up short. Rebounded by Sec. And Barima lost it as he was trying to get it to Mashburn. The Lobos turn it over. Pretty good defense in the backcourt there by Turner to pester Marima Sec. Lobos have turned it over four times. Western has turned it over three times. Twelve and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Lobos up 15 to 5. Robert Banks catches the inbound. Now to Arnett, the TCU transfer. Top of the wheel to Johnson. Gets it on the left block here to Banks. Good call. Banks trying to back down Sec, <laughs> and that's uh, an offensive foul. Yeah, Banks looked up. He says, Sec, Sec, Sec weighs probably 200 pounds. Let me just back him down and draws the offensive foul. Basketball's better with a crisp Bud Light at your game. Keep it crisp, Lobos. Please drink responsibly. KJ Jenkins, Jamal Mashburn Jr. J. Allen Tober, Tobar, excuse me, Jeremiah Francis, and Barima Sec for UNM on court. Into the front court, Francis lobs it left baseline to Tobar. Tobar turns to face about 18 feet from the goal. Puts it hard on the deck, right handed. Straight to the rim and scores right over top of Hohenstein. You like to see Tobar be aggressive offensively, taking it to the hole. 17 straight for the Lobos. They're up a dozen, 17 to 5. Inside 12 minutes left here, first half. Baseline right in the corner is Turner. Out high now to Arnett. Arnett on the tank and a reach-in foul. And they get KJ on the reach. Yep. Jenkins got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. His first team score. 11.44 to go, first down. Lobos on a 17-0 run. They lead it 17-5 on the UNF Sports Radio Network. We are the land of enchantment. We are a state like no other. We are the home of great cities, great landscapes, and greater people. We represent you. We are New Mexico. We proudly carry the name of our state. We will never yield. We are champions. We are New Mexico. The Lobos are back. Season tickets are on sale now for New Mexico Lobo men's and women's basketball at the pit. Coach Richard Bettino leads the men's team for the first time, while the women's team aims to defend its Mount West Conference crown. Tickets start as low as $199 for the men and $110 for the women. Tickets can be purchased at golobos.com slash tickets. We are New Mexico, and this is Lobo basketball at the pit. We'll see you there.
TLC wants to thank customers for trusting TLC with home and business service needs. TLC here for you when you need us most. Go Lobos. 17 to 5, Lobos on top of Western New Mexico. We're on Albertson's Radio Row in the legendary pit, 11.44 to go in the first half, and New Mexico has scored 17 unanswered points after falling behind 5-0 at the start. Western has it. On the right wing, it's Leonard. Andrew Leonard from Tucson, Arizona, through Central Arizona College to Western New Mexico. Now at top, this is Doss. Gets it up to Hohenstein, hands it off to Leonard. Leonard back to the wing. This is Turner. Turner, baseline right, fall away jump shot, air ball, rebounded by Sec. Lobos can extend their 17-0 run. Clear. Cut, KJ, cut. Tovar catches left corner. Inside 20 to shoot. Tovar on the block, had it stripped. Last touch by Western, 12 on the timer for hey. New Mexico. Yeah, Tovar trying to put it on the floor, just taking a little too long to make his move and allowing the defensive help to come strip it away. 11 minute mark, first half, Lobos up a dozen. Looking to get it in, they get it to Mash, and he'll try a left corner three. It's short, rebound to Doss for Western. Doss across the timeline. Doss splits defenders, right hand runner too strong. Long rebound out to Leonard. Shot fake, he'll step to his left, fire a three. Brims out, rebounded by Alan Tovar. Gives it up to Jenkins. KJ fires it up the wing to Mashburn. Jamal to the front court. To Jenkins, deep straight on three, and KJ knocks it down. Oh my goodness, that stroke is so pure. KJ Jenkins, last weekend, caught fire. The young man was four of five from deep against Montana State. He's still cooking against Western. Lobos have scored 20 straight. Left wing three slashes home for Leonard, and that snaps the drought for Western New Mexico. 20 to eight, Lobos. Yeah. Andrew Leonard knocks down a three. Leonard's a lefty. Lobos by a dozen. Mashburn left wing high. Now the tow bar screens for Mash. Beats Jenkins. That's a deep left wing three. And another range down. He's challenging Anthony Mathis range with those two. Oh, yeah. Another three-pointer and a Western Sky Buckets for Bucks donation. Jump shot no good from Arnett. Rebounded in the corner. Off the tap by KJ Jenkins for the Lobos. New Mexico up 23 to 8. 9.45 and ticking. First half. Sec hands it off to KJ. Row, okay. Left wing high now to Mashburn. Row, okay. Dribble hand up to Francis, out top to KJ. He ah. checked three off the right eye and another deep one. <laughs> and the JC transfer had a little wry smile on his face after that one missed. Here go the Mustangs the other way. Turn it with a dribble hand off to Arnett. Quickly left wing beyond the arc now to Leonard. He just made the three. They skip it right side to Doss. Doss down the right rail. Doss roofed at the rim by J. Allen Tobar. Another Valley Fence block hunger donation to the Roadrunner Food Bank. And Barima Sek is down. It looked like Tobar might have come down on his I teammate. Think, yeah, I think he did. He kind of came down on his on the back side of him, but not sure where he's hurting. But he's still kind of grimacing on the floor. Barima Sek is. 9.14 left. We're in the first half. Lobos 23, Western New Mexico 8. Your neighborhood supermarket is Albertson's Market, where service selection and savings matter. The official fan and tailgate headquarters of the Lobos, Albertson's Market, as we come to you live courtside on Albertson's Radio Row. Coach Patino having a little fun with SEC. I think he got the wind knocked out yeah. of him. You know, as Coach Patino, there's the block. I think you're right. Maybe. We just got a brief look at a replay, maybe a, a, just a knee or something into the into the midsection, something like yeah. that. Coach Patino has has talked a little bit about his guys being tougher and wanting them uh, to exhibit that and maybe a little less drama. So he's having some fun, yeah. a little playful shove for his freshman. And that's what you do with the freshman. They say, okay, you ask him, where does it hurt? And that's where you smack him right there. <laughs> <laughs> Said like you might have played a few times. Hey, it happened to me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, 23 to eight, Lobo's in front. Toe Diem, rest in peace. Uh, <laughs> Legendary oh, Lobo man. trainer. Yeah, he'll get you ready as a freshman. Yeah. So it looks like Tobar had some blood on his jersey, so they're taking him out. Yeah. Jethro Muscadin is checking in. They're looking at Tobar to find out where the blood is coming from, because they got to get that cut stopped, whatever it is. 
catching up the inbound Leonard, and he knocks down a wing three. Leonard has booked two triples now. He's got a nice little shot. Yeah, he does. 23 to 11, Lobos by a dozen. Leonard is now eight out of 16, shooting threes on the year. He's made both his looks here tonight. And now foul whistled on Western New Mexico. It's gonna be on their big fella, Peterson, their sixth. Lobos get a reset on the timer to 20. New Mexico up 23 to 11, 8.55 to go first half. Side, Side out for UNM. Taryn Todd will key it in. Todd gets into the Mashburn. Mashburn brings it to the left wing beyond the arc. Waits for KJ to curl to the top. He catches there. KJ off the Muskin and ball screen. Knocks down a 15-foot right elbow jumper. That's like a layup for KJ. He's got eight now. A couple of triples. Oh, nice take there. Tony Avalos to the rim and lays it in. 25-13. Lobos by a dozen. Avalos, one of their top scorers, averaging just under 17 a game. Lobos 25, Western 13. Spinning from the right block, trying a 10-foot jump shot is Muskin. It's off the right iron, rebounded by Western New Mexico. Into the front court comes Johnson. Now right wing to Cash. Cash feeds the screener. And the oh, layup Mashburn. is blocked by Mashburn. He roofed the big fella, Peterson. Here goes Johnson the other way for the Lobos. Now to Mash in the left corner. Back to Javante. To the top to Todd. Whips it down to the right block to Muskinen. Muskinen double pumps. Leads in. Makes it home. Jethro Muskinen. Muskinen takes all the contact and then kisses it off the glass. 27 to 13. Lobos by 14. 7.40 to go. First half. Navalos crossing over, lost the ball, got it back. Now needs some help. Now high to Johnson. Whip it left wing to Leonard. Leonard hounded by Jenkins. Now to Cash. Cash working on Todd. Cash leaning in. His runner short. Another rebound to Muscadet. Drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it. Muscadet screens for Jenkins. Jenkson skips it left corner to Johnson. Javante's three oh. is an air ball. Weak side Kiram to Western, then Amari Cash. Cash across the timeline. They get it quickly right corner, that lefty stroke. It's no good from Leonard. His three ball grazes the front iron. Lobos by 14 as Johnson brings it into the front court. Feeds KJ at the top. Shot fake and a drive by KJ. Gets it to Todd in the left corner. Taron keeps his balance, nearly stepped out of bounds. Gets it to Muskin and baseline left. Jethro will rise, 17 footer short. Rebound for Western. Lobos starting to stand around on offense. Johnson crossing over and oh, scoring. Nice. Malik Johnson over J.J. Javante Johnson. Johnson crosses him over to the left. Nice little teardrop. Timeout on court, 6.35 remaining in the first half, 27 to 15. The Lobos on top by a dozen. Coach Petito takes a 30-second timeout, and we'll take it with him. It's Lobo Basketball on the Auto Sports Radio Network. With 12 institutions nestled in the nation's most desirable destinations, you'll see us enjoying life at the peak of celebration. As you witness us not only win, but win the right way, you'll find us competing at the peak of integrity. As our more than 5,000 student athletes take the field of play with unequaled passion, you'll find us performing at the peak of competition. The Mountain West is at the peak. Show your school pride. Get your UNM themed cards from Nusenta Credit Union today. Nusenta and UNM are working together for our community. It's the power of we. Insured by NCUA, some restrictions may apply. Show your school pride. Get your UNM themed cards from Nusenta Credit Union today. Nusenta and UNM are working together for our community. It's the power of we. Insured by NCUA, some restrictions may apply.
We're back on Albertson's Radio Row, 6.35 to go in the first half. Lobos 25, Western New Mexico 15. Fans download the Lobos Sports app, access exclusive content, interviews with head coaches, live game broadcasts, the latest stats and scores, prices, and much more. It's the Lobos Sports app. It's free. Find it in the Apple and Google stores. Download it now and go Lobos. My broadcast partner is a Lobo legend, Hunter Green. I'm Robert Portnoy. Happy to be with you from the pit. Six and a half minutes to go in the first half. Lobos with the ball up a dozen. Tarantan has it out top. Trying to whip it inside to jail. October was stolen by Avalos for Western New Mexico. Avalos got some quickness at 5-9. Yep. That's his calling card. This is Leonard. Leonard kicks it out. Shot fake by Johnson. Johnson tries to float her. The teardrop's no good. Rebound won by J.L. and Tovar for the Lobo. Six minute mark first half. New Mexico up a dozen. Francis off the Alan Tovar ball screen. Gets it to Todd on the left wing. 20 to shoot for you at him. Tear it on the tick. Right handed. Whips it to the baseline to Tovar. Tovar double pumps, rises and scores. The Bigs having their way down low for UNM. New Mexico up by 14. Straight on three on the way. Set shot for Robert Banks off the back rim. Rebound to Bate Johnson for UNM. Francis pushed tempo for UNM. Cut off on the baseline. Now spins inside. Goes to the left hand. Layup is short for JF. Rebound for Western New Mexico's Mamarian Cash. Into the front court comes Avalos. Working on Francis. Right hand dribble into the key. Spinning, firing, turnaround. Ten footer from the Mountain West logo. Very nice for Avalos as Avalos now has four. Las Cruces kid playing in his home state. Just about 100 miles, Silver City from Las Cruces, west of Cruces. Oh, beautiful screen roll and a lob for JL Tobar. Excellent catch down on the baseline, but he leans in, tries a reverse layup. Looked like it was blocked by Banks. Western has it. They trail by a dozen. Whip it right corner. Cash fakes the three, drives the baseline, and a whistle and a foul. They're going to call a blocking foul on KJ Jenkins. Route 66, proud to be an official supporter of Lobo Athletics. Get your kicks only at Route 66 Casino Hotel, official sponsor of Lobo Basketball. Jamal Mashburn Jr. will check in for UNM in a moment. Marion Cash, the Phoenix, Arizona lefty, steps to the line, fires his first free throw. Front iron glass and down. Jeremiah Francis checks out. Jamal Mashburn Jr. checks in for him. As the Lobos make a change on the point. Second free throw on the way for Cash. Rims out. Rebound to Bonte Johnson. That's his fifth four. Leads everybody. Johnson playing the four is committed to rebounding, and it's awesome. Mashburn out high near the shield logo. At center court, down nice. the right rail, Mash on the take to the rim, scoops and scored. Mashburn with a half dozen now. Mashburn with the hesitation, then exploded to the rim. Lobos up 31-18. Navalos fouled out high by Mashburn. Little reach in on Jamal. Sixth teamer, first on Mash. 419 on the game clock, first down. Navalos inbounding. Throws it way out high, and it's stolen away by Taryn Todd. Todd into the front court. Todd skips it left wing to Johnson. Javonson to the left corner to Jenkins. His three off the front iron. Weak tight Garam to Cash. High left hand bounce across the timeline for Cash. To the right wing now to Leonard. Out front it comes to Banks. Get it left corner to Avalos. Avalos driving on Todd. Skip pass, right corner, lefty three for Leonard is good. Leonard books his third in five attempts. He's got the best looking stroke on that oh, team. He does. Well, I tell you what, Avalos can stroke it too. No doubt. Lobo's lead is 10. 31 21. 15 to shoot for UNM. Mashburn stepping back. Now crossing over. Mashburn fouled. Scoop and score. Chanceburn and one for Mashburn Jr. Coming off the 21 point performance, a career high on Saturday against Montana State. We've got timeout on court. 3.33 to go in the first half. Lobos at the line looking for the old-fashioned three-point play on the other side. New Mexico 33, Western New Mexico 21. Lobo basketball on the UNM Sports Radio Network. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game 
explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers. Better with Pepsi. We're your neighbors. We're your friends and family. We're your kids' coach cheering alongside you. We're your local service experts. We know life happens. Whether it's your electrical, your heating and cooling, or a plumbing problem. When things don't go right, TLC is here for your home, your business, and most importantly, we are here for you. Call TLC today. Lobos shooting a scorching 60% from the field. They lead Western New Mexico 33 to 21. With 3.33 to go, we're on Albertson's radio row in the pit. Jamal Mashburn Jr. to the foul line looking to convert a three-point play. With Nucenda Credit Union's Power of Change program, round up your debit card purchases, build savings, pay down debt, donate to causes important to you. It's your change. It's your choice. Learn more at nucenda.org slash sense. Mashburn pays it off with a free throw. Lobos by a Baker's dozen. After the three-point play, Western ball, 3.20 on the game timer. Jay Allen Tobar with a steal. Loose ball to Johnson. Whips it ahead to Jay, but threw it behind him. And a Lobo turnover. It's New Mexico that, six. That was Johnson's uh, fault because he gave, gave it to Tobar too early. Tobar wasn't ready for it on the break. Tomate Johnson checks out. The Lobos have Tobar, Todd, Jenkins, Mashburn, and Sec. Catch and shoot, wing three for Leonard is short. Well contested by Jenkins. Loose ball on the floor. One by sack for UNM. Three minute mark in the first half. Lobos 34. Western New Mexico 21. Sack hands it off to Todd, and Taren will give it to Mashburn. Mashburn way out high. Off the screen from Tovar. Knocks down another deuce. Mashburn the first to double figures with 11. He's 5 of 6 from the field. An angle right 16 footer for Mash. Crossover bounce by Arnett. He's roofed by J. Allen Tovar. Stick back is no good by Banks. Allen Tovar with his second Valley fence block. Driving the left baseline is Todd. He'll whip it out top. Catch and shoot three for Jenkins. Rains down. KJ Jenkins, third long ball. He is on fire. Lobos up 39 21 to the 220 mark. Delay a game warning against Sec. DSI, your local business and office technology leader, providing full IT solutions, security, printers, and document management software throughout New Mexico. Visit DSINM.com today. DSI. 2.10 to go first half. Lobo's biggest lead is now 18. Cash, guarded by Todd. Todd fights over the screen. To the top down of Banks. Banks drive it on jail with Tovar. Tries a right-hand scoop runner, no good. Sack rebounds and hands it off to Mashburn. Jamal. Through the Lobo shield, Lobo at center court. No look feed to J. Allen Tobar, stolen by Banks. Here goes Western the other way. Doss right to the rim and scores past Sec. Doss, their top scorer, coming in at 20.3 points per game. He's Doss got four. Yeah, that time in transition just takes it right to the rim. Todd hands it off to Mash. Mash with 15 to shoot now. Back to KJ left wing. KJ. Off the bounce, rises, left elbow, jump shot is good. Nice little 14-footer just to the left of the elbow. K.J. Jenkins has erupted for 13 in game high total. Five of seven field, three of five deep for K.J. On the take is Doss. Doss rejected by Barima Sek. And another Valley Fence block hunger donation to the Roadrunner Food Bank. And now Mashburn 
hits the deck hard. Fouled by Cash on the rise as Mash goes down the right lane line of the rim. I love when Mash is aggressive oh. to the 10. And when he's going to his right, he's almost unstoppable. So defensively, he's not the first guy who's been dominant to one side. What do you do if you're the Lobos, you're facing a guy like that who has a really strong one hand. How do you overplay him? Well, How scout, do you defend him? The scout says make him go left. But a guy like Mashburn, he's so strong with his right, you, you almost you can't stop him. He can go fake. over top of you. He'll, he'll just fake left and go right. And uh, he's so quick. So he baits you. He Even baits though you know you. you're, <laughs> you're not supposed to and go that way with him. Teammate Kelvin Scarble did it all the time. And he was strong right hand Could, dominant. Couldn't go left, and the scouting reports knew it. They try to trap him, they put full court press, and he would break it all down. And he just <laughs> <laughs> Mashburn knocks down two free throws. He's got a Baker's dozen. Tied for a game high with his teammate Jenkins. Bubbles up 43-23 with a minute to go here in the first half. Catching out high is Johnson. Johnson hands it off to the shooter, Leonard. Nope. Now they get it right wing Banks. to Turner. Here goes Turner. And he'll drive to the rim and lay it in. Backdoor cut by Turner. Josiah Turner from Chandler, Arizona, and Masha High School. 6'2 freshman. Eight seconds separating shot and game clock. 15 on the shot clock here at the end of the first half. 43-25 low bones. Mashburn will let the shot clock wind out inside 10. Now Coach Patino tells him to go. He refuses the screen from Muscadin. His scoop curls up, but he's fouled once again. The whistle this time on Johnson and Mash back to the charity stripe where he just was. So one of the things that you've talked about with regard to Mash, Hunter, and, and we saw it on display on that replay right there that we just got to look at, is that though he is right hand and right side dominant and wants to go that way, he can go one or two hard dribbles left, and he did it off that screen that time. He refused the screen, went left, was able to get back to his right hand, cross the key to the other side, and draw contact. Pretty impressive. Yeah, it is. And I'll tell you what, what else is more impressive is the fact that he's a right-hand shooter who can sh knock it down going to the right. Most right-hand shooters like to go to their left. Mashburn makes two free throws again. Four Ooh, seconds, three hoo -hoo. seconds, two seconds. And a beautiful scoop by Avalos. The kid from Bruce is in amongst the trees yeah. with a little teardrop yeah, scoop. You want to know who I am from Las Cruces. Avalos. 45-27. Lobos by 18 on Western New Mexico and intermission. We're back after this timeout. Halftime at the pit is next. Lobo basketball on the UNM Sports Radio Network. At Bank of Albuquerque, the customer is at the center of everything we do. We strive to understand your business, your challenges, and your vision for success. Then we work with you to craft a plan to help you get there. Our customers experience a level of hands-on, face-to-face service that's unmatched. It's time to experience the Bank of Albuquerque difference. Are you ready? Bank of Albuquerque. Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Melendez, the founder of the Juliet Eye Institute, where we're about one thing, and that's putting our patients first. We try to customize our surgical options to meet your needs and really exceed your expectations by correcting your vision, whether it's PRK or LASIK surgery, to the newest version, Smile Laser Surgery, or ICL, which is an implantable columnar lens implant. Here for you when you need us most, and go Lobo. So, New Mexico on top of Western New Mexico, 45 to 27. And uh, we are privileged to welcome in our game sponsor tonight, 
they have their logo on the court here in the legendary <laughs> pit. I've got the GM at Valley Fence Company, Tyler Chavez. It's great to be with you. And how nice. are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, sir. It's great to be here this evening. I appreciate your time this evening. Oh, thanks for being with us. Uh, do you guys have a nice little contingent in the pit here tonight? Yeah, we do. We, we've, got a, we've got a group over here, and we're having a great time watching the Lobos play hard. And, uh, you know, it's nice to see us play a, another team from New Mexico, but obviously we want to see a big win. Absolutely. So. What does it mean to you guys? Why was it important to you? Um, what did it mean to get the Valley Fence logo and name on Bob King Court? Uh, you know, you beat me to it. I grew up watching the Lobos play, and I remember watch, seeing Bob King Court. You know, and that meant so much to us as a family and as a business. And, and now to be a part of that brand has just meant the world to us. The Lobos and, and, and this court and the pit has meant so much to this community. For us to be able to be a part of it has just truly been special. It has. Another thing that you and your family in Valley Fence have have done so well. Your end hunger campaign is such a phenomenal initiative. Yes, sir. Um, how did it come to pass? What was the genesis of the idea to bring the Lobos in on this incredible initiative and turn this into an amazing partnership? Oh, well, I appreciate you bringing that up. We're, we're so excited to be a part of the end hunger campaign and, and, and with the Lobos to partner with the Lobos right now. You guys just have, the Lobos have such a strong brand to be able to be a part of something that has such a strong brand like that and then to be able to parlay that into helping um, people who in New Mexico. Because I think as a young man, I was told a lot by my family and by others that we need to be conscientious of those that have less than us. And, and oftentimes we were thinking about people halfway around the world. But I grew up and I realized that right in our backyard, some people don't have enough to eat. And so for our family to be able to, to help those in our own community that don't have enough has meant the world. We want to help people all over the world, but we know people need help in New Mexico. And so that's where we want to start. And there's no better brand than the Lobos. Such a, a wonderful message right there. And, and Tyler, what a perfect time for that, too, as we head right into the holidays, right? With, yes, with Thanksgiving coming up and then the Christmas holiday coming up and, and right through the new year, we all are going to be enjoying so much and there are some that don't get that opportunity. That's correct. It, it, it's just, it's, it's put it in neon letters at, at how blessed we are as a family, as a business, as a community. And we want to help those that are a little less fortunate than ours. And, and we want to make sure we leave this community a little better than we found it. And, and there's no stronger brand to do that with than the Cherry. Well, so we're excited to do that, sir. Uh, we're so proud to have you as a partner of the Lobos, you and Valley Fence. Thank you, and sir. what you're doing in the community off the charts. It, it means the world. We appreciate your time tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. That's Tyler Chavez, and uh, let's bring home a Lobo W. You got it. I appreciate you, brother. Have a wonderful evening. You too. Tyler Chavez, the general manager for Valley Fence Company, our game sponsor here tonight in the legendary pit. Lobos 45, Western New Mexico 27, your halftime score. Fans basketball is better with a crisp Bud Light at your game. Keep it crisp, Lobos. Please drink responsibly. We pause for timeout at halftime. It's Lobo Basketball on the UNM Sports Radio Network. We've got you covered at Larry H. Miller Dealerships. If you need a new car, we've got you covered. If you need a used car, we've got those too. At every one of our more than 60 dealerships, used cars are in demand. We're paying really big money on the spot and often even more in person. Looking at your car in person can mean even more dollars for you. Whether you want to buy or sell, we've got you covered at Larry H. Miller Dealerships. Online at LHMauto.com. Driven by you. The Lobos are back. Season tickets are on sale now for New Mexico Lobo men's and women's basketball at the pit. Coach Richard Bettino leads the men's team for the first time, while the women's team aims to defend its Mountain West Conference crown. Tickets start as low as $199 for the men and $110 for the women. Tickets can be purchased at golobos.com slash tickets. We are New Mexico, and this is Lobo basketball at the pit. We'll see you there. We are the land of enchantment. We are a state like no other. We are the home of great cities, great landscapes, and greater people. We represent you. We are New Mexico. We proudly carry the name of our state. We will never yield. We are champions. We are New Mexico. The Lobos are back. Season tickets are on sale now for New Mexico Lobo men's and women's basketball at the pit. Coach Richard Bettino leads the men's team for the first time, while the women's team aims to defend its Mount West Conference crown. Tickets start as low as $199 for the men and $110 for the women. 
Tickets can be purchased at golobos.com slash tickets. We are New Mexico, and this is Lobo Basketball at the Pit. We'll see you there. Before we take our final halftime break, Lobos shoots 64% floor, 18 out of 28, and 4 of 8 from deep. That's 50%. Lobos 5 of 7 of the charity stripe, 72%. For Western, 11 of 35 field, that's 31%, but they did well from the three-point line, four of 10 for 40%, just one of four at the foul line. Lobos win the rebounding battle, 21 to 16. Western New Mexico, though, they got all the offensive boards, five to zero. Turnovers, six of them for Western New Mexico, seven for UNM. The Lobos blocked five shots. Western rejected three. The biggest lead was 20 for UNM with a minute to go in the first half. Western scored the first five points of the game, and then the Lobos would score double digits in succession very quickly to get the lead, and they've held the lead ever since. The Lobos' longest scoring run was 20, and that was right after falling behind five to nothing. Lobos led for 16 plus minutes. Western led for just under three minutes of clock time. Points up, turnovers 5-4 for Western. Points in the paint at even 14 apiece. Second chance points, 3-0 Western. 11-4 Lobos in fast break points and 17-11 for New Mexico in bench points. We'll come back with some individual totals and we'll revisit our keys as we move to second half action to the pin. Lobos 48, Western New Mexico 27. This is the Lobo basketball at halftime on the UNM Sports Radio Network. With 12 institutions nestled in the nation's most desirable destinations, you'll see us enjoying life at the peak of celebration. As you witness us not only win, but win the right way, you'll find us competing at the peak of integrity. As our more than 5,000 student athletes take the field of play with unequaled passion, you'll find us performing at the peak of competition. The Mountain West is at the peak. Show your school pride. Get your UNM-themed cards from Nusenda Credit Union today. Nusenda and UNM are working together for our community. It's the power of we. Insured by NCUA, some restrictions may apply. Show your school pride. Get your UNM-themed cards from Nusenda Credit Union today. Nusenda and UNM are working together for our community. It's the power of we. Insured by NCUA, some restrictions may apply.
Some individual numbers from the first half. And the hot shooting K.J. Jenkins after 17 points and 4 of 5 from distance Saturday in the win over Montana State. He has continued to cook. K.J., 13 points on 5 of 7 floor, 3 of 5 from deep. Game high total, 15 points for Jamal Mashburn Jr. off his career best, 21 on Saturday. 5 of 6 field, 5 of 7 foul line, 3 rebounds, and an assist. Mashburn, 15 points to lead everybody. 8 points for Muskinen, 4 of 6 field, 4 rebounds, all defensive for Moose. 4 points for J.L. Tovar. 3 points for Javante Johnson. And 2 for Terrence Todd. Leading scorer for visiting Western New Mexico, Andrew Leonard. 3 3 balls for 9 points, 3 of 6 from 3. All of his field goal attempts from the arc. 4 points apiece for Cash, Doss. 2 points apiece for Turner and Johnson. 6 points for Avalos, 3 of 3 from the floor. Avalos had two assists as well and a steal at 5 foot 9. He's fun to watch. Welcome back, my broadcast partner. New Mexico all-time great Hunter Green. I'm Robert Portnoy. And Hunter, what was the thing that stood out most for you in the first half? What did you like best about what the Lobos did? KJ Jenkins knocking down a three. I mean, that was, I mean, that was something that we know he, he's capable of doing, but you know, they were, I think his teammates were consciously looking for him and he was stroking it. And that is two consecutive games now where K.J. Jenkins, his jump shot is something that we heard about. Legendary coming out of junior college, right? Well, he's proven to be more than just a jump shooter in the first few games that he's been in a Lobo uniform. But these last two, that really fine stroke is starting to find the range. Yeah, well, his natural position is the two. But, you know, coach has got him playing some, some lead guard, some point guard. Uh, you just never know. And, and he's did a little bit of that tonight so far. Um, but you, and I like, you like to see him get more time at the point because you just never know. You might need him uh, in conference play. You might need him at the point. And uh, he could fill that position. What did the Lobos do after falling behind 5-0 to score 20 in a row and, and take control of this game so quickly? Well, first of all, I thought Western came out as the aggressor offensively. And then, of course, quickly, the Lobos matched their intensity defensively and, and just turned it around. And then from then on, and, you know, Western just wasn't able to score as easily. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the UNM Sports Radio Network. Second half action tonight will be brought to you by Route 66 Casino Hotel, proud sponsor of Lobo Basketball. Get your kicks only at Route 66 Casino Hotel. Route 66 Casino Hotel, an official sponsor of Lobo Athletics. 20 minutes on the game clock, 45-27. Lobo's on top as we start. Stands at number two. New Mexico has the arrow. They'll get the ball to start the second half. Jeremiah Francis on ball for UNM into the front court. He gives it off to Mashman on the left wing. Jamal off the Muskinen ball screen, skips it right wing to Johnson. He whips it inside of Muskinen for the two-hand dunk. That's a beautiful play out of halftime. Oh, and they, and they ran it textbook, ran it just to a tee, just the way the coach drew it up. Western ball, Lobos by 20, equaling their biggest margin of the first half. Driving a baseline is Avalos. His floater grazed still. fingertips, got the basketball from Muskinen, but it still found the bottom. Exactly. Avalos from Las Cruces. Eight points for the 5'9 guard. Up the ball screen, Francis skips it right wing to Johnson. Javante brings it between the wheels. Back to Mashburn on the right wing in the Bob King court logo. Out top now to Muskinen, a dribble hand off to Todd. Todd whips it to the left corner to Javante. Javante to the key. Javante rises and he's fouled. A whistle on Doss and free throws coming up for Javante Johnson. Doss is first. Teams first. First whistle of the half. Lobos 47. Western New Mexico 29. 19.07 left in the game. Javante spins it and now fires it. And finds the bottom. One more coming up to put it back out to a 20-point advantage. 
at six foot six, the number two rebounder on the Lobo roster, playing out of position at the four for much of the start of the year. He's been amazing. He books both free throws. Lobo's up by 20, 49-29. On ball is Cash for Western. Lobos have their starting five back out there. Mashburn, Johnson, Todd Francis, and Muscadin. So does Western. On the take now, Johnson. Johnson tried to find the breaking big Peterson Great. on the baseline. <laughs> Last nice touch by goal. Peterson. It'll be Lobo ball. Nice defense on the baseline yeah, there. Was deflection by Johnson yeah. went off of Peterson. Cash, Pablos, Johnson, Away. Doss, Away. and Peterson for Western. Francis with the ball. Checked by Avalos. Francis lost his footing. Got it to Mashburn. Mashburn on the drive. His shot is blocked by Peterson. Loose basketball bounces into the low bow bench. It'll stay with UNM. 19 to shoot. See Avalos giving Francis a little trouble there with his on ball defense. Todd keying it in in front of the low bow bench to Jeremiah at the top. Francis bounces baseline right now to Todd. Todd backing his man down, and it'll be an offensive foul. Well, they're gonna. That's one of the things they're calling: flopping in the post, creating the contact, initiating that contact. Gets whistled for the offensive foul. Does Taryn Todd? Your buddy, Dave Hall, explained to us that that was one of a couple of points of emphasis for this season: flopping but in the offensive, uh, initiating off, contact yeah, uh, on the post. On the post, correct. Yep. That's it. Avalos, look at him. Avalos, oh. I'm impressed. Step back, Jay. Avalos, 10 points. Put a little extra arc on that one, Perfect too. Perfect from the field. Just inside the foul at a 14-footer. The shortest guy on the court. He's got 10. Over and back violation, Terrence Todd. Excellent defense. And they turn it over, Western does. Albuquerque, Santa Fe, Toyota dealers. Proud supporters of the Lobos. Visit them today to find your perfect Toyota model. Toyota, let's go places. 49-31, Lobos up by 18. Inside, 18 minutes in the second half. Avalos catches the inbound, has Mash on him. Whips it to the curling Johnson. Johnson gives it up, gets it back. He'll drive the baseline and step on the end line. More good defense by Todd. I think Todd is the Swiss Army knife of this Lobo team right now. Now yeah. when Saquon Singleton comes back, that's the moniker that he's had. But Todd can defend, Todd can score, Todd can shoot, Todd can rebound. We see him block shots, he's good on ball. I like his game. Mashburn between the wheels. Mushkin and ball screen for Mash. Mash down the right rail. Mash with a scoop. It's blocked. Another block for Peterson. Loose ball chased down by Mushkin. Look at Mushkin behind the back bounce. Then a crossover and a feed on the baseline, but it's off the fingertips of his teammate Johnson. Mushkin has some pretty good handles. You can see he showed a little bit, and then he tried to throw a little, uh, I don't know what that was. A wraparound pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He tried to wrap it but around. We, but the problem is the distance. They were so close, and he threw it in there with so much, uh, you know, the fire Speed, on it. Yeah. yeah. Needed a little more finesse. Yes. Euro step by Doss. Kick to the left wing to Johnson. Johnson rises left elbow. Jumper is no good for Malik Johnson. Rebound for Jam. Jam by Francis through the center circle. Francis between the legs bounce. Francis down the left rail. Left hand scoop. No good. Weak side tap by Muskin. It's controlled by Peterson for Western. Lobos nearly took it away. Johnson controls for Western. Here's Avalos. Avalos drives the baseline, feeds Peterson. Peterson rejected by Muskadin. Avalos gets the loose ball. 15 to shoot for Western. Avalos backs it out into the Lobo Shield logo at center court. KJ Jenkins checks in next for UNM. Avalos off the ball screen. Todd fights through it. Now to the screener, Doss, who steps out and knocks down a straight on three. Coach Patino wants timeout. He's going to get. Barima Sek off his bench, 16.32 to go in the second half. Lobos 49 and Western New Mexico 34. Time out on court on the UNM Sports Radio Network. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> We're your neighbors. We're your friends and family. We're your kids coach cheering alongside you. We're your local service experts. We know life happens. Whether it's your electrical, your heating and cooling, 
or a plumbing problem. When things don't go right, TLC is here for your home, your business, and most importantly, we are here for you. Call TLC today. Sixteen thirty-two to go in the game. We're on Albertsons Radio Row, Lobos Forty-Nine, Western New Mexico, thirty-four. Fans, download the new Lobo Sports app. You can get exclusive content, interviews with head coach Richard Pitino, live game broadcast. Keep up with the latest stats and scores, enter win prizes, and much more. It's the Lobo Sports app. It's free. Find it in the Apple Store, in the Google Store, and download it now. Go Lobos! Lobo ball, Mashburn doubled off the ball screen, backs it out to Francis, back to Mash, 15 to shoot. Lobos by 15, drops it right baseline to Bariba Sec. Sec backs his man down, now 10 to shoot. And a whistle to foul. That's on Jordan Doss, trying to defend Sec, giving away a ton of height down there on the block. Yeah, Jordan Doss is 6'5", and Barima, Barima Sec is 6'11", so they say. What do you think? Hey, he's gonna be 6'10". <laughs> Inbound to Mashburn, baseline jumper. Well contested, but he knocks it down. Mashburn Jr. with 17, he's six of nine from the field. Lobos by 17, 16 minute mark. There's Avalos. Avalos has it, high left beyond the arc. Out top now to Doss, their top score, Doss. Backs it out, pulls it, deep three, in and out. Rebound, Jay Allen Tovar, way up with the left hand to rip it down. Mashburn in the front court. Mashburn has Avalos on his hip. Mash accelerates. Mash rejected at the rim by Hohenstein, and it's last touch by UNM. For not having great size, Western New Mexico has done a fine job protecting the rim. Yeah. We take time out. 51 34. Lobos by 17. 15 and a half to go in the game. Lobo basketball on the UNM Sports Radio Network. When it comes to your health, what does delivering more mean? It means the state's only academic and research-based medical center. It means adding technology, expanding services, making medical advancements, and reaching a higher level of care. Delivering more means access to New Mexico's only level one trauma center, more area locations, and more personalized services. UNM Health, delivering more. It's different here. A mile closer to the stars. Tinted in cherry and silver, where history lives forever and the future can hardly wait. This is us, undeniably untamed, fueling future generations, leading the nation in the latest and the greatest, seeing and stretching the limits of limitless, melding and merging the entirely unknown. This is each of us, all of us. This is the University of New Mexico. a fenced-in yard and a walk-through gate to an automated gate for your driveway. Valley Fence has you covered, including child and pet-friendly solutions. You'll be amazed at the choices you have in materials and design. Valley Fence, the next year's number one fence company, our game spot of the night in the pit. 51-34, Lobos up, 15 and a half to go in the game. Western ball, we're from Albertson's Radio Row, courtside. Scoop shot by Avalos, off the back First rim, miss, rebounded by, by Johnson. Way. Just barely, too. He's got 10, Avalos does. 
There goes G.J. down the right rail. Javante Johnson banks it in right-handed. A nice runner. Louisville's up 53-34. Kid from Colorado Springs having himself a season. We're in game five, and Javante Johnson, a breakout performer for UNM. Double hand off to Avalos. Avalos rises over Mashburn. Missed it off to the left, a 14-footer straight on. Rebound to UNM. Here goes Mashburn across the timeline. Mashburn, high right-hand bounce, picks up the dribble. Lobs it baseline right to Sec. Sec skips it into the corner. Johnson catches. He'll get it left block to J. Allen Tobar. Spinning, firing, right-hand leaner. Too hard off the square. Rebound and a foul on Sec as it was rebounded by Doss of Western New Mexico. Sec's first, team second. New Mexico, they pass the ball inside, and the guys are standing. They have to keep moving, interchange, make the defense work. Ravalos into the front court. Hands it off to Johnson. Not high now to Cash. Get it to the top to Hohenstein. He hands it off to Doss. Doss driving and leaning in on Sec. Sec rejects it. Loose ball to Todd. Uh, excuse me, to Tobar on a foul in the backcourt as Jail Tobar gets it to Mash and a reach in on Avalos, his third. Also the third on Western to Mexico in the half. Albuquerque Downs Racetrack and Casino winning entertainment, including simulcast racing, live music, dining, and the best games. Albuquerque Downs Racetrack and Casino are postgame sponsored for Lobo Basketball. New Mexico by 19. Look at Mash. Oh. Right down the center of the key in a left hand finger roll. Mashburn with 19. Guard! 55 34. Lobos by 21, their biggest lead. Nice lob entry and a left hand layup. No good for Hohenstein. Rebound to UNM. Mash whipped it ahead to Jenkins. KJ, right hand bounce into the key. Whipped it to the right wing. And Johnson, three ball is good. KJ Jenkins with the helper. And Johnson pays it off. Jenkins and Johnson kind of coming together. You can see these guys just settling into their roles. Ball That's movement, finding each other in their spots. That's the J&J &J combo. There you go. Jenkins and Johnson. Avalos bumped by Mashburn. The foul's on the floor. Mash picks up the personal. Lobo's third. No, they're going to say a reach on Johnson. So Johnson got caught his first. Team's third. Multiple substitutions now for Western New Mexico. Lobos 58, Western New Mexico 34. This is the Lobos' biggest lead, and New Mexico has scored nine in a row. Western inbounding, 20 on the timer. 13 and a half to go in the game. A high now to Banks. Banks, beautiful bounce pass to the backdoor cutter. Leonard, his layup is short. And a loose ball last touch by Western New Mexico. It's tough when you're outsized. Leonard just 5'11". And you get in there and you see a big tree coming at you. You could see that shot was altered. Well, first of all, you don't go in there with the trees, not unless you're going hard and strong. We've seen a couple of those little floaters yeah. going. Not high percentage, though, are they? Skip pass by Mashburn. Johnson catching in front of the Lobo bench. Gets it on the left block to Jay Allen Tobar. He's going to go to work. See the Lobo standing around. Alan Tobar to the right hand jump hook. He's fouled. It comes up short. Alan Tobar, free throws up coming. Yes, Tobar is down low, operating with one on one. The Lobos out on the perimeter have to, you know, exchange, interchange. You can't just stand there because then you they allow the defense to kind of double team. I like what I saw there, though, is at least he showed that he might go over the right shoulder before <laughs> getting back to the strong yeah, side, right? Yeah. He gave him one dribble yep. to his right, then came back to the left shoulder, and that's how he created some space. Well, he definitely, I, I, I think there's a lot of potential upside for him in that post. Missed the first free throw, but books the second. So he splits the pair. Lobos up 59-34, 25-point advantage for UNM. Western has it now, 20 to shoot. Leonard to the right wing, to Arnett. Arnett crossing over, Arnett into the key. Whips it left corner to Leonard. To throw it out top to Turner. Turner rises, right elbow extended. In and out from 17, rebound to sec for UNM. Ahead to Mashburn. Mashburn head up across the center stripe. Mashburn steps back, could have shot the three, didn't even look at it. Wants his team to run some offense. Gives it up to Tobar and gets it back. Here's Mash off the Tobar screen. He doubled, lost it, got it back. Mash penetrating. Mash lobbing for Tobar. It stole it away. Here goes Western. Open three ball in transition for Leonard. Short. Rebound to second. 
Sec has this dank board that leads everybody. KJ to the front court. Jenkins bounces it to Jalen Tobar, but it's knocked away. It'll stay with the Lobo. Coach trying to get a little two-man game here with Jenkins and Jay Tobar down low. Nice deflection by Western. Mashman will get a breather. Multiple substitutions here for UNM. It'll be Johnson, Todd, Francis, Jenkins, and Tobar. That's the Lobo 5, 12-minute mark here, second half. Lobo's by 25. Jenkins catches at the top, whips it left wing to Johnson, catch and shoot three. Javante's off the right iron. Backside rebound to Arnett. Arnett across the timeline for Western. Crossing over on time. Throws it left corner. This is Turner. Out high it comes out Arnett. Arnett driving on time. Terran deflected it. They got it back. Western has it, 15 to shoot. The dribble handoff to Turner. Now right corner comes to Leonard. He's a shooter. Out high with eight to shoot now to Banks. Banks sees it back to Leonard. Leonard behind the back bounce. Leonard into the key. Left hand runner. No good again. That shot altered. Rebound to Todd for UNM. Todd into the front court. Todd down to the center of the lane. Todd feeds Tobar. And the dunk is missed, but a whistle and a foul. JL and Tobar will tow the line. Whistle's going to be on Hohenstein. Lobo's at the line on the other side. 59-34 UNM. 11 minutes and 15 seconds remaining. It's Lobo basketball on the UNM Sports Radio Network. At Bank of Albuquerque, the customer is at the center of everything we do. We strive to understand your business, your challenges, and your vision for success. Then we work with you to craft a plan to help you get there. Our customers experience a level of hands-on, face-to-face service that's unmatched. It's time to experience the Bank of Albuquerque difference. Are you ready? Bank of Albuquerque. Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Melendez, the founder of the Juliet Eye Institute, where we're about one thing, and that's putting our patients first. We try to customize our surgical options to meet your needs and really exceed your expectations by correcting your vision, whether it's PRK or LASIK surgery, to the newest version, Smile Laser Surgery, or ICL, which is an implantable columnar lens implant. It's that time again, fans. TLC's heating experts, they can make your home the ultimate comfort zone. When you need your heater service, call TLC. You've got family and friends coming over for the holidays, right? Make sure that it's comfortable. TLC has everything you need. 11.15 left in the game. We're on Albertson's Radio Row. Lobos 59, Western New Mexico 34. J. Allen Tobar's first free throw rattles down. Along with Lobo legend Hunter Green, I'm Robert Portnoy. We're in the historic pit, and UNM looking to improve to 4-0 at home to start the year. Second free throw for J. Allen Tovar. Rims out, loose ball foul on New Mexico's Terran Todd. I think that's his third. But I like the little hustle. It was a reach, it was a loose ball, but. Todd's fourth. Fourth. Fourth on the low bones in the half. So Murray Masek will check in. Darren Todd checks out for UNM. Murray Misek checking in. Western New Mexico basketball. Coach Patino featured a suit for the first time on Saturday, yeah. but he's back in the Lobo script font logo pullover. He said he wanted tonight. to be seen in the legendary pit <laughs> with a suit on. Rossi spins into the key. Shot blocked Bravo. by Marie Masek, but a foul on jail at Tobar. Coach Patino wanted to travel. Free throws for Western New Mexico upcoming. Yeah. Away, pass it to Javante's side. Javante's side. 
Both teams with five team fouls in the half. Inside the 11 minute mark here. Second half, Lobo 60, Western New Mexico 34. Banks, first free throw is good. Robert Banks from Duncanville, Texas in his hometown high school. 6'6 freshman, second free throw, also gone. A freshman with a full on beard. I, could, I couldn't grow that now. <laughs> and an excellent stroke at the free throw line. He's now seven of eight at the foul line on the year. They're playing their third exhibition of the year against a D1 opponent. Plus UTEP and GCU. Look at that bounce pass by KJ Jenkins and G. Allen Tobar on the baseline. Banks it in. Lobo's up 26. Hard drive by Hohenstein. Sec won't get a block shot, but that's certainly an altered shot. He grabs the loose ball after the miss. Great defense. But a 6'11 Sec. JL Tobar pulls a three short from the right wing off the Jenkins feed. Rebound to Western. Arnett drives and kicks to the corner, and he stepped on the sideline. The Swede, Forsling. Sebastian Forsling checks in for the first time tonight. And a break for Javante Johnson. Hey, Fred! Fred, three to three. Three to three. Three to three. There's a big lineup for the Lobos right now, Hunter. It's a young lineup. And a big one, too. Yeah. You got Barima, 6'11. You got the footer, Forsling. And you've got the 6'9 JL Tobar. This is about as big as they can go. Unless Jethro were out there, right? Francis at the top. Jeremiah gets it to Jay Allen in the center circle. To Jenkins. And Jenkins' wing pass stole it away. Taken by Arnett. Arnett behind the back. Lost it. They were lucky to keep it. Now they turn it over. Steal by Forsman. Loose ball found it. Ahead to Jay Allen Tobar. Catch and shoot triple. It's good. Jay Allen Tobar has a very nice stroke for a big fella. He's a stretch forward. Another three-point donation courtesy of the Western Sky Buckets for Box program. 65-36 low bonus. Nine and a half to go. Peterson gets it to Leonard. To the right corner to Banks. Gonna stroke a three from the right corner. No good. Rebounded by Western. Pass to Banks. Banks wasn't looking for it. And Western New Mexico turns it over. All he had to be was looking up, right? And he had a layup. Was cutting to the rim, and the pass came right to him. Just didn't get his hands up in time. Western turns it over for the 11th time, and Banks picks up his third personal. Steal be credited to KJ Jenkins. Coach is still coaching him up. These are the guys who need these minutes. They need some game time action. Francis down the right lane line had his shot blocked, got the loose ball, kick out. KJ Jenkins three, left iron, no good. Tovar goes over top of a Western player for the rebound. Feeds the cutting sec. He gets it to the right wing. Francis three is short. Weak side carom to Western New Mexico. And Olavi Peterson. Turner, hard lane line drive. Cross key pass deflected by KJ Jenkins. It'll stay with Western New Mexico. 65-36. Lobos by 29. 8.45 left. Arnett gets it in. Now top out of Turner. 15 to shoot for Western. Turner brings it to the right corner. Keeps the dribble alive. The drive on Sec. Sec poked it away from behind. Loose ball finds Western. They get an open wing three from Leonard, and he knocks another one down. He's four for eight from distance. All 12 points on the game for him from the three. From the arc. 8.20 to go. Bobo's up 65-39. Francis. Driving the left baseline and a blocking foul called on Western. Free throws for Francis. One on one opportunity. Jeremiah toes the line. Lobos, add your Nusenda Visa debit card or credit card to your mobile wallet and make payments to anyone, anywhere, anytime, safely and securely. Learn more at Nusenda.org slash digital dash wallet. Nusenda Credit Union, the power of we. Front end of the one-on-one -on -one for Francis on the way. Bounces out. Forsling. Forsling had a hand on the loose ball, couldn't control it. Western ball, 8-12 left. 65-39, Lobos on top by 26. Eight 
8.05 left in the game. Lobos zoning Western Mav. Just a chance to use it, get these young players an opportunity to work the zone. Nice up and under move there, and a scoop shot is good for Robert Banks. Excellent footwork. Global lead is 24. Banks has four. Deep wing three. Tovar books another. Jay Allen Tovar has made back-to-back -back triples. Lobos up 68 to 41. Another Western Sky buckets for box donation. They're showing that zone. A little two-three zone. Backdoor cut for Western and a catch on the baseline. Jay Allen Tovar sends away the offering from Banks. Another Valley Fence block, 100 donation to the Roadrunner Food Bank. Francis to the key for the Lobos. Lefty scoop and score for Francis. Put some English on the kiss off the glass. Deep wing three for Leonard is short. Long rebound to Banks. Banks pass Go! stolen by Jenkins. Go! Go! Lobos up 70 to 41. KJ to the key, rising right elbow. Jump shot is good for KJ. KJ Jenkins, his first points here in the second half. KJ Jenkins coming off a career best. 17 on Saturday, has 15 tonight. 72 to 41. Lobos on top by 31. 6.52 to go. Lobo basketball on the UNM Sports Radio Network. We've got you covered at Larry H. Miller Dealerships. If you need a new car, we've got you covered. If you need a used car, we've got those too. At every one of our more than 60 dealerships, used cars are in demand. We're paying really big money on the spot and often even more in person. Looking at your car in person can mean even more dollars for you. Whether you want to buy or sell, we've got you covered at Larry H. Miller Dealerships. Online at LHMauto.com. Driven by you. The Lobos are back. Season tickets are on sale now for New Mexico Lobo men's and women's basketball at the pit. Coach Richard Bettino leads the men's team for the first time, while the women's team aims to defend its Mount West Conference crown. Tickets start as low as $199 for the men and $110 for the women. Tickets can be purchased at golobos.com slash tickets. We are New Mexico, and this is Lobo basketball at the pit. We'll see you there. Six fifty-two to go from Albertson's Radio Row in the pit. Seventy-two forty-one Lobos on top of Western New Mexico. Tanawan Country Club, the place to book your special event. Incredible views of the Sandia Mountains, the city lights of Albuquerque, large event rooms, COVID safe practices, the venue to hold your event. Tanawan Country Club. For more information, call 505-822-0422. Tanawan Country Club. Seventy-two to forty-one Lobos. Western working against the Lobo 2-3 zone. They have 15 to shoot. Proby. Johnson drives and kicks. Wing three goes for Avalos. Got to find that man, number four. He is Avalos. six for eight from the field, Hunter. One for one from distance. 13 points for Avalos. He's their leading score. Francis at the top. The right wing to sec. Barima. Drive at a baseline, crossing over, stepping back. The big fellow wants three, it's short. Long rebound is going to be tapped well, by Western it. on the baseline. Didn't have to. Could have just let it go, right? Yeah. I didn't understand that play. Thought he could save it, but if you're not sure, just let it go. 6.05 to go. Lobo ball, 72 to 44 lead on Western New Mexico. Jenkins, Forsling, Alan Tobar, Francis in sack for UNM. Yeah. Freeman lobs it into Jenkins. Catch and shoot. Deep wing three is good. KJ Jenkins, new career high. 18, four of seven from long range. Can stroke it.
Catchy at the foul line. Oh, it's done. Right corner to Daw. Steal by KJ. He's been a thief tonight. KJ's going to work the baseline and a reach in foul. Yeah, Manavalo's picked up his fourth personal. KJ Jenkins filling that stat sheet, Hunter. He's got three steals now. KJ has five assists to go with his career best 18 points all in 25 minutes. Do it at all. One on one here for KJ. Jenkins, one bounce, free throw up, and good. Looking for an even 20 points with this next foul shot. To North Georgia, to Kilgore College, to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and UNM for the Atlanta native. KJ books another free throw. 20 for Jenkins to lead all scores. Lobos up 77 to 44. Jenkins checks out a nice hand for KJ, and here comes Clay Patterson. The walk on for Brio Rancho. Lobos still in that 2 3 zone. Patterson, Francis, Sack, Forsling, and Tobar for the Lobos. 33 point advantage. Post entry and a bank shot goes for Doss and a foul on Forsling. And Jordan Doss, the transfer from Purdue, and Chicago native. An opportunity for an and one. Jordan Arroyo is going to check in another Albuquerque kid to walk on. Taps J. Allen Tovar out. A nice hand for Arroyo. Francis in the front court. Lobos up 77 47. JF off the ball screen. Doubled for a moment. Bounce entry here. And Arroyo can't handle it. Stolen away. Johnson in the front court. Johnson bounces it to the cutter in a reverse layup. Is good for Doss. Malik Johnson found him in transition. Inside five minutes now. Lobos with a 28 point lead. Led by as many as 33. Francis into the key. Francis leaning in. Francis banking it home. Too much size against uh, Avila. Avalos. Size and strength for Jeremiah Francis. He has four points now. Lobo lead back to 30. Mexico continues to use the 2 3. Manavalos oh. with a straight on three. And he lands on Patterson. So they're going to call Patterson for the undercut. Clay tried to contest. There was mild contact. Avalos will get three shots. Well, he didn't give him his. He did. He came up under him as a shooter. Got to give him space to land, space. right? Yep. First free throw for Avalos is good. So that begs the question you are still a great shooter. I've seen it in person. Obviously, you're a phenomenal shooter at UNM. Some shooters prefer to rise straight up. Others, their natural shot, for whatever reason, maybe even a tiny little bit of a fall away. Some guys, they go forward as they shoot. And in some cases, that actually creates the contact. Right. So it, still a foul on the defender, though. No, because if the, if the offensive player creates the contact, then that changes the whole game there. I mean, that's not... Um, and they're calling that more, and especially in the NBA now. And uh, as you can see, where Harden is being whistled for a lot of those calls because he does initiate it off the dribble. He'll come into the defender, and they're so not calling those. Avalos made the first two free throws, but missed the third. Western got the ball back, and Avalos got to the rim again <laughs> to earn another trip to the foul line. Shortest guy on the floor, the leading scorer for Western at 16, shooting lights out. All over the place. So he makes four of the five foul shots, really all coming on one possession, if you will. And Avalos now has 17. That leads his team. Lobo lead is 79 to 53. Western has got it man to man the entire night. There's a steal in the wing by Das. Das, nice anticipation. Das will sprint to the rim and lay it in. 405 to go in the game. Lobo's by 24. Patterson whips it ahead to Francis. JF. Past Avalos, leaves it for Forsling. Forsling with a two-hand dunk. The crowd goes off. Forsling with a dunk. 
Nice setup by Francis. Yes. Avalos to the key. Avalos to the nice dish, and Das lays it in. He's got to feel good for the freshman. I remember my first dunk as a freshman. Das was 16 now. Things. Yeah. Probably tell you who it was against, right? You know exactly who oh, no. no. I can't tell you. <laughs> Francis with a step back, Jay. Misses from 15. Das running coast to coast, nice. and he'll lay it in. Coach Patino will take time out. 3.10 to go. This will be the final media timeout. Lobos, 81. Western New Mexico, 59. We pause. It's Lobo Basketball on the UNM Sports Radio Network. We are the land of enchantment. We are a state like no other. We are the home of great cities, great landscapes, and greater people. We represent you. We are New Mexico. We proudly carry the name of our state. We will never yield. We are champions. We are New Mexico. The Lobos are back. Season tickets are on sale now for New Mexico Lobo men's and women's basketball at the pit. Coach Richard Bettino leads the men's team for the first time, while the women's team aims to defend its Mount West Conference crown. Tickets start as low as $199 for the men and $110 for the women. Tickets can be purchased at golobos.com slash tickets. We are New Mexico, and this is Lobo Basketball at the Pit. We'll see you there. Valley Fence donates to the Roadrunner Food Bank. Valley Fence, the official fencing partner of Lobo Athletics. Jeremiah Francis with the ball for the Lobos. Gets it to Clay Patterson. Patterson off the Arroyo screen to Forsling. Forsling, excuse me. Forsling gives it up and gets it back. Forsling beyond the arc. Hands it off to Patterson. Clay crossing over. Clay with a right elbow jumper. Back rim no good. Forsling got a hand on a loose ball but couldn't control. Rebound to Western. Nice deflection by Patterson on a wing pass. It'll stay with Western New Mexico. 2.42 to go. Lobo's got two walk-ons and two freshmen on the floor right now. Jeremiah Francis, the fifth to go with the true freshman. The true freshmen are Forsling and Sec and the two walk-ons, Jordan Arroyo. And Clay Patterson. Arnett with the ball. Kick out to the top. Rossi gives it up. This is Banks. Banks scores it. Left hand reverse layup. 81 61. One of my keys to the game getting your bench players some minutes. And Lobo's doing that yep. here in the second half. Forsling catch at the top, to the wing to Sec. Sec driving the left baseline, skip pass to the right corner to Thompson. Thompson on the drive, Thompson makes it in! <laughs> nice pump thank He was surrounded by three Mustangs and scored it anyway. Shot fake by Banks. He'll drive and kick to the corner. Dribble penetration by Turner, stolen away. Sec has it. Sec nearly carried it. Fortunate not to have been called. Now to Francis, 140 to go, 83-61 Lobos. Francis has it, to Roy at the top. Jordan wants a three, right iron no good. Rebound, last touch by Weston, will stay with the Lobos. Eighty-three, 
63 to 61, Lobo. Zach Keen it in from under the bucket to Patterson. Catch and shoot corner three for Clay is good. And another Western Sky buckets for bucks donation. And a Western turnover. Western New Mexico turns it over in front of their bench. 125 left. That might be a career high for Patterson with five. He has hit a three before. Let's see if that is the most he's ever scored before. Francis into the front court. Fifteen to shoot to the baseline to second. Barima on the drive. Barima skip pass to Patterson, an offensive foul on second. Sec trying to handle the ball a little bit there, but gets caught in the air. Baseline drive and a layup is good. That's Dylan Arnett, the former teammate of Terran Todd at Texas Christian. 46 seconds left of the contest. Francis on the drive. Jeremiah leans in, hangs and scores, banks it in. Five points is one better than his previous best, Hunter. Clay had scored four in a game. This is Banks. Banks, no look, feed deflected, 17 to shoot. 23 seconds left in the game. Western New Mexico re retains possession. 88 to 63, low goes by 25. Coach Patino wants one final stop for UNM. Sebastian! Entered the turner on the baseline. Layup is no good. Last touch by Western. The Lobos can run out the final 18 and a half seconds. So UNM will improve to 4 0 in the pit to start the year. 4 1 overall. The only loss, the tough 11 point loss in Boulder against Colorado. A game that was a one possession contest inside the three minute mark. Lobo fans stand as one. Give their New Mexico Lobos a nice hand. The final five ticks come off the clock and UNM will have a victory. Your final score in the pit tonight, New Mexico 88, Western New Mexico 63. Post game show is next on the UNM Sports Radio Network.